Hey everyone, my name is Taps and here we go. New York Comic Con has been announced and Ecomi and Vivi have already revealed five con exclusive drops this week in line with the event that are solid and we know there's going to be more revealed. So get your gems ready kids, set your alarms for the drop times, and get ready for a another con week of mayhem. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the community and feel free to subscribe. I'm a crypto stock and real estate investor, but never a financial advisor. Oh man, my bank account is going to be in pain after this week. Okay, so let's review the drops that were announced, New York Comic Con as a whole, and some cool info we can weed out from this post. They revealed five drops, which are all Marvel-based, and we know that they're all in blind box form. They've set the dates between Tuesday, October 5th at 8 a.m., running to the last one on Sunday, October 10th at 8 a.m., and this is all Pacific Standard Time. So the first one, Fantastic Four number 13, featuring rare and ultra rare covers exclusive to VV drops. So there will be your standard common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and seeker rare, and the comics make sense to participate in every drop. It's like a virtual lottery ticket, $7. You usually only have one chance at getting one or two, depending on how you play it. But this one is somewhat special because David Yu actually made a post saying, I have been waiting my entire career for this day. Fantastic Four number Number 13 featuring rare and ultra rare covers exclusive to Vivi drops Tuesday, 5th October, so on, so on. So let's go rare and ultra rare. So all of the other variant covers have existed, but these are exclusive to Vivi. This makes them unique and special. So if you get a secret rare, that is absolutely fantastic, like all of the other ones, but this has some added weight to the rare and ultra rares. So I can't wait to see what the floor looks like on these rares and ultra rares versus some of the other comics we've seen. And just how cool is that, right? Like shout out to David you he's been a huge marvel and insert nerd fandom here for decades and years and he gets to be a part of this he gets to create something that is special to him very very cool and congrats david next up we have the ben riley the clone of peter parker has assumed the mantle of spider-man modern marvel season three is a new york comic-con exclusive two premium digital statues of the spectacular spider-man drop in blind box format so we don't know what rarity, and again, on all these, we don't know the cost yet. The, the articles I'm sure will come out the day of, if not the day before. But this actually caused me to take my ultra rare Spider-Man that I had in the marketplace off because I got to thinking. And I didn't want to sell my ultra rare Spider-Man, but I needed gems, right? And I had a quality mint and I was like, oh, I'll just buy back a different one, but I took it off and here's why. The way I'm looking at the second version of Spider-Man coming on is similar to the other Batmans that have happened in the other seasons, right? Those season one, drop one Batmans like Riso and Todd's have held the most value of those Batmans. So it got me thinking, well, it's possible then that the OG Spider-Mans that dropped in the first Marvel Spider-Man drop and the OG Spider-Man himself, Peter Parker, may actually go up in value as we get more versions of Spider-Man. We're getting Ben Riley now, we could get Miles Morales, we could get Spider-Gwen, we could get all the other different Spider-Man from the multiverse. So I decided to hold on to my ultra rare Spider-Man, the first version, because I think potentially the value on it could go up. And this is dropping on Thursday, October 7th at 8 a.m. The next one is first appearance of Daredevil. Daredevil Comics, again, not financial advice, of course, but I would participate in every single drop, period, but the comics especially. And looking at these, I actually think this is a really cool comic cover, and I always think about which one would I want to have posted in my showroom, and this is something I actually would like. And this drops Friday, October 8th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The next one stood out to me specifically. We've seen Marvel Mighties are a great set to collect. The ultra rares and rares do actually hold up pretty good value in the marketplace, but this one stands out. So it's what if Captain Carter were the first super soldier. Now I actually watched this episode from what if, and what if is a solid show that has come on Disney plus in partnership with Marvel. And we saw the what if comic books come, but this is the first tie into what if with the VV digital collectibles, which we know the Marvel Mighties are specific content partnered with Marvel and VV. And it drops Saturday, October 9th at 8 a.m. Now we saw with James Bond 007, like this was our first look into active films and shows that were happening that are being put out onto Vivi and seeing a direct character from the What If Disney Plus show being put into Vivi stood out. So it got me kind of thinking, 
what else could we see? You know, I'm always trying to see what is eventually a potential that could upcome at other things. Like we saw Throg. Throg was also in Loki on Disney Plus in little cutscenes from hidden behind Loki, which I did an entire video on that and how Throg could be a much bigger character as we move on in the Marvel series. But when we look at upcoming shows on Marvel and what's coming to specifically Marvel with Disney Plus, we have Hawkeye coming, we have Miss Marvel coming in 2022, Moon Knight 2022, She-Hulk, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. That just sounds like something that Vivi would do. Secret Invasion, Iron Heart, Armor Wars, and Untitled Wakandi series, all TBA. So if they keep aligning shows and things of that nature and films, with Marvel, there's a lot to look forward to in the, the multi-year partnership that we know Marvel and Vivi have. So while Red Skull was my favorite of the Marvel Mighties, I actually think because of the significance around it being tied to What If, this specific Marvel Mighty is one to collect. Next up is the one that I am the most excited for, and that is the first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider and the supervillain himself, Thanos. So Thanos number 13 drops Sunday, October 10th at 8 a.m. Fully readable, five variant covers, blind box format, and these look dope. This one specifically right here with the Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity Stone shining, how cool would that look in your showroom? Like, that is the one I want. And if that's not the one I can get, I don't know if this is the common, but this one looks also really cool too. It has him walking away as he just totally thrashed the Avengers. Can't wait to try and nab as many of these as possible, but they end the thread by saying, Saying, and that's just Marvel. Drop articles and more drop announcements. Hashtag soon. So that's five drops throughout the rest of this week, all just Marvel, which obviously alludes that we're beginning more drops that are not just Marvel. If history repeats itself similar to the San Diego Comic-Con that we saw where we had, I think, three or four days of drops where they had literally two to three drops each day, then we could see another five to maybe eight more drops aligning at 12 p.m. PST or a later time. So again, you're gonna need gems for this week. And that got my head kind of spinning, right? Like what other kinds of content can we see? Like Marvel's obvious like maybe we could see something from dc but maybe we could see something that's in line with some of the guests or the speakers or some of the main franchise that are mentioned the main speakers are david harbour from black widow and stranger things george takei from star trek hayden christensen from star wars john cena from suicide squad fast nine in wwe I mean, there are a bunch of people in here from Red Sonia to plenty of actors and actresses from The Boys, which we know that Terra Virtual Collect actually has a collection from The Boys. So I think that would be pretty cool if Vivi did as well. We have Chris Claremont from X-Men. We have people from anime like Sailor Moon and Hunter x Hunter and The Last Airbender, which I've done a video around. Again, more Star Wars like The Bad Batch, Battlestar Galactica, Batman, Spawn, World of Warcraft. WWE, I keep seeing a lot of people at this event who all come from WWE or from the wrestling world, which is very interesting. You see Team Titans, The Boys again, Star Trek again, all ending with William Shatner from Star Trek. So this is, of course, speculation, but it just again gets my brain kind of thinking, are they going to line these drops with some of the main guests at this event and some of the largest fandoms who go to this event, which the largest collection I saw from this were Batman, Marvel, Star Trek, WWE, anime, Star Wars, and a few others that were mixed in. I tried taking some time to also look through the exhibitor list to see if I could see any of the artists like Jermaine Rogers or Mondo. Maybe we could see another artist come like we did at the last convention but I wasn't able to find any, but there are a lot of big exhibitors at this event. So again, it's hard to guess what else is going to be coming from Vivi Nakomi besides Marvel, but we know there is more coming. It's great that they're working with Marvel, that this is more awareness around the event, that they're going to have that CE tag, that con exclusive tag for these and get some exposure to New York Comic Con. So drops have been crazy, but they have said in past AMAs, that the actual con exclusive, the CE tags, hold special weight. So these will be quality NFTs to make sure that you have in your collection. And you've probably noticed a bit of a sell-off in the 
marketplace in Vivi. And that's because, again, we're seeing so many drops. We knew that we were going to have a busy month and New York Comic Con is really kicking it off strong. And so there is a need for gems. And that's what creates a little bit of a sell off. This happened right around the last convention and then Marvel was dropped. And that was actually a prime time to grab some of the collectibles that you may not have from previous sets. So my recommendation is at least try for each drop. You don't know with the blind boxes, you could get a secret rare, an ultra rare or a rare. See what you can get. And if you find yourself that you need to sell off collectibles for gems, I wouldn't do it now because again, you know what they're worth. You've already seen over the past month that they've shot up too. So right now things are coming at a discount price. So I would hold any stronger collectibles that you know are gonna go up in value later if you can afford to. I think this is just the start though. I think we're gonna see quite a lot in the month of October. It's gonna be a lot of drops every single week, most likely. So everyone who's participating in the drops, good luck to all of you on securing these ultra rares and secret rares. And if you do, and you're posting what you got from the drop on Twitter, make sure that you're tagging the New York Comic Con and Marvel or whatever the licensor is. Let's keep informing people on Ecomi and Vivi and just how strong this community is. As always, I hope you found my content valuable. And if so, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below about what drop you got. Did you get a rare? Did you common? Did you ultra rare? The likes and comments appease the algo overlords and help my channel to continue to grow. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell for future content. That's it for today. I'm Taps. Thank you for your time and happy trading.